Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of profits. Today, joined by Brett of Anomyces, trying some more extreme beer, but not as extreme as the stuff we had earlier. No, at least it enough. doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it. Like you can actually generate some head on this, it, it, and it's more black than brown, and doesn't look like caramel sauce. Yeah, even though it was a fun, you know, I liked it. So we gave it good yeah, grades, but, 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 but it was just over the top. Really over the top. Yeah, but it was like kind of like the Explorer. Yeah, but from this brewery, but even, just not as good. No, no, but just even crazier and yeah. sweeter and too much. Yeah, but I think Explorer was still nice, and Anchorage, which we're trying today, makes a lot of these extreme beers as well. But they have somewhat more of a stouty base to them, like they taste more like Imperial stouts, yeah. whereas the 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 Vale beer that we were talking about was just a little bit more. At least the one. At least that one. Like, but they also do beers with really good bases. I can think it just depends on what the brewers yeah, really set out to try I think and do. So. And, and, and sometimes, you know, it's just not for you, but there's so many people that love stuff like this, mm. so that's fine. But today, we're checking out another... Actually, the final Imperial stuff we have at the moment from, uh, from Anchorage. Again, insane label. Yeah, amazing artwork. It looks great. By Massive Face. But this is sent by Liars. This was uh, another of these oak, uh, Missouri oak-aged... Uh, Imperial stouts that they do on a massive 15%. Yeah. And this one has, has been finished on hazelnuts, Madagascar vanilla beans, raw coconut, and lactose. So they actually put in the lactose in the end. Interesting. Yeah. So Explorer was lactose. Uh, what was the other one? I had the uh, Into Nothingness with the banana stout. I thought that was really... Michael loved it, but he mm. loves banana stouts. Yeah. <laughs> For me, that's like... It can become a bit cloying. But the, it was pretty good. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I'm, I'm thinking this will be pretty good. We love hazelnuts. I love you hazelnut know. and I yeah also love coconut. But it just love needs to be in balance in yeah. some kind of way. But yeah. So this pour is a pitch black color. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually having trouble developing a head right now. But you do create a little bit of a brown film. Yeah. Like really dark brown. Yeah. But... But it coats the glass. Yeah, but this is like really pitch black. Yep. Like dense black color, some curtains on the side of the glass mm. too, some alcohol legs. Let's check out the aroma on Scent by Liars. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, lots of coconut actually. Yeah. But definitely more toned down than the Explorer. Yeah. It's not like as crazy. But there's a lot of like bourbon warmth to it, I think. But, not there's not, lot, uh, but, but, but there's not been in burn barrels. That's the thing. It's Missouri oak. It's yeah, just that's, pure that's oak. actually weird. I think to me, there's just like maybe some alcohol warmth, but there's a huge amount that's of That's probably it then because it's definitely warming. It could I also think. be a combination of vanilla and hazelnut, but I'm definitely also getting. You don't like, sense the warmth? Like yeah, in, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 I do. But I'm getting like not as much of this like Dwemeke type thing, but there's like this toasty, like legit nut. Flavor. It's not like yeah. Nutella. It's like toasted hazelnuts. Yeah, yeah. and and also toast. just like a really nice, like natural kind of coconutty yeah. aroma. But it's not like that insane over the top. No, no. The top it's not as as much as in like sacrifice, for example. No, but it is that umami, dromike top as coconut, but also some just like milky coconut. It, they say yeah. raw coconut, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think the reason why you're getting that. Like Toymike caramelized top is because the base beer is so dense. Mm. That's probably also because it's been boiled. Yeah, for a long time. Mm. I'm also getting hints of licorice underneath. Yeah. I'm getting and like umami. roasty umami yeah. notes. Like there's definitely that big umami rich roast profile. Yeah. But that's like some of the things I, I want that. in stouts. It's yeah. really nice. Like this is extreme beer as well, but it's more balanced than what we had earlier. <laughs> Much but again, that was also probably the most extreme beer we've had in. I think it's the most extreme adjunct pastry stout yeah. I've ever had. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it was Something like pouring out the... chocolate sauce. Yeah. It was... <laughs> Stupid beer, man. Yeah. But yeah, this it smells really good. Yeah, it's this is also extreme, but it's restrained extreme. Yeah. You can say like that. at least compared to that yeah. beer, it smells really good. Yeah, let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. Really charry, roasty. Mm. Oh, I'm not, I'm oh yeah, I'm so happy there's a roasted malt yeah. backbone to this. Lots of 
Lots of it, actually. I love it. It's like, like dark chocolate and like roasted hazelnuts. It's almost like a dark chocolate with like a hazelnut chunks or yeah. like almost like dark chocolate with toasty or roasty hazelnut yeah. chunks in it. Yeah. It's actually quite, it's a, you know, it's beefy and yeah. kind of, yeah, yeah. It's rich. It's not it's that really, sweet. No, actually. not at all. It has enough like roast and uh, a little bit of alcohol to cut mm. through it. Like, but I can see what you're saying. It almost tastes like it's bourbon barrel aged, mm. even though it's oak aged. Because it has like a, it has like a bourbon esque like caramelized character up front. Yeah. But then I think it's, it's like really like dark chocolate and, and hazelnuts, yeah. roasted hazelnuts. And the finish, like, there or just for a brief sec before it finished, there's loads of like, uh, like milky coconut, mm. like tons of it. But the aftertaste is like mm. this really nice, like 70 80 percent dark chocolate. Yeah. It's so much rich dark chocolate. Yeah, it's I so love rich. dark yeah, chocolate. It's so rich. But it's so rich. Like, mm. this is not. I don't want to call this pastry style. It's not super pastry. Because it's like, like to me, pastry is what we had from Vale, which is crazy, or just like these super over the top. This is over the top too, but it just reminds me more of like when American breweries have done extreme beers. It's just like massively like, flavored. Yeah. Or, you know, it has a massive flavor, but it's not crazy But sweet. this tastes like an Imperial style. It doesn't taste mm. like a Frappuccino. <laughs> it tastes like a yeah. really dense, roasty, dark chocolatey yeah. Imperial style. Mm. But that's also sweet, but with fudgy caramel as well and whatnot. And then like this really nice blanket of like, like the coconut and toast, toasted caramel. Yeah. And I think like, as you said, like it, it's almost like it tastes like it's bourbon barrel aged because there's like this like really nice edge of like oh. vanilla-y, uh, like and just like a fudginess. caramelly, fudgy yeah. flavor that's similar to bourbon. And I think it's just a combination of oak and maybe alcohol and also the fact that they probably use a ton of caramel malts. Yeah. In a beer like but this. fuck the aftertaste of this beer is so good. Yeah, it's really like, nice. It's really that like rich, roast, rich dark chocolate yeah, and, and hazelnut, yeah. like roasted hazelnuts. It's like it's just pure natural hazelnut mm. with dark chocolate. Mm. It's like if you made a homemade um, Nutella, Nutella, but with dark chocolate. Yeah, without yeah, but yeah, yeah without all kinds of shit in it. Like, yeah. you know, if if you really made it yourself with dark chocolate and and you roasted the hazelnuts yourself and maybe it still contained some kind of like hazelnut chunk, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. you poured in some stout maybe. There, I feel yeah. like there's even like coffee vibes to this. Mm. There's like, like dark roasted, almost espresso. It definitely espresso. Yeah. Definitely espresso coffee. Yeah. Like, Cause it's really bitter as well. Like there's a good, what also saves this from being too sweet. It's it's quite bitter. Yeah. Like it has a, like a, a nice bitter roasty malt bite. Yeah. Like an umami. Yeah, an yeah. umami richness. Like licorice Licorice-esque -esque for sure. Um, just big and bold, but like, I prefer like I prefer stouts if they have to be really extreme like this, yeah. more so than the other ballpark, which was the the the, the veil one. <laughs> Although that was really like it was a good drink, it was but fun. It, it was but just... this tastes just like a crazy beefed up stout, mm. like, oof. like it's so stout like it's like yeah. I, if you say you like imperial stout and you try something like this, you'd be like, whoa, this is a crazy stout mm. because it's imperial stout. First and foremost, with loads of adjuncts. Exactly. It's that, you know, 50-50 marriage of mm. adjuncts, but also huge base mm. that tastes like a stout, that is a stout. Yeah. Yeah. Which so is that's it? the difference. Yeah. I'm also but, even getting marzipan notes to this. Yeah, I actually see that. Yeah. Like, I would say probably 95 for me. I think it's a world-class, mm. early world-class uh, stout. I don't know what I'd like more. Maybe just like a straight barrel, maybe. Like, or some kind of barrel aging. I'm just not as fired up as I thought I'd be, or not, maybe not thought I'd be, but I think I think I'm enjoying it as much as I would, as yeah. I thought. Like, I think it's it's really good, but I, maybe ninety six. Like, I think it was around that territory we gave Explorer to, and I think it's. A, I think this is better than yeah. than the Explorer, to be honest. Um, so I I will give it a a ninety six. Yeah, I think. Um, so. I probably, that is, it's a very different beer, but I probably enjoyed it's the, the bur uh, Buffalo Trace Barrel is big yeah, me a bit too. more, yeah. but, but you know, this this is better than the Explorer, and, and I'll probably give that a 94, 95, so. Yeah, I mean, I think it's really good. Yeah. Uh, 
at pastry as extreme beer, and I just like that it tastes like a stout. That's yeah. a big thing. Like there's it has actually dryness and richness. dry roasty malt and flavor, and but still lots of sweetness and whatnot. Mm. Like it has a lot of the things you want yeah. in big stouts, mm. which is awesome. So yeah, it's it's fucking great. It is <laughs> fucking great. It is early yeah. world class yeah. imperial stout in oak barrels mm. with loads of adjuncts. But yeah. And again, I wouldn't call this pastry. I would call it adjunct stout. I, yeah. I, I really think yeah. there should be a distinguished difference because pastry stout is much more sweet and mm. it's like... It's what cereal. we had earlier. It is what we had earlier. <laughs> That's pastry. This is adjunct yeah. stout because it still tastes like a stout. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. So if you guys had a chance to try Anchorage Scent by Liars, let, we know what you, let us know what you thought of this. This was an awesome try. We still have uh, Gutted and Freya to try. Mm. So a bourbon barrel age, Woodford Reserve bourbon barrel age, Billion Strong Dark Ale, and a Woodford Reserve bourbon barrel aged a Baltic Porter with vanilla, but lastly, we actually also still have a bottle of a Deal with the Devil Double Oak Vanilla Edition. Yeah. We have had a and lot of... And perhaps also a veil, a few Veil Stouts, but without all kinds of weird fucked up. Yeah. But if you're <laughs> talking... Yeah. But yeah, let, yeah. We're let's talking at, at Anchorage. That's, yeah. That's what we got yeah. at the moment. And yeah. Hopefully we'll be able to get the side, side project collab. That would be mm -hmm. amazing. King of darkness. Yes. You know, that sounds like crazy. But yeah, this is awesome. So if you guys had a chance to try this, let us know what you thought of it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and ring the bell for future notifications about videos. And we're going to say cheers and delicious, crazy, yep. big, rich, imperial stout. And see you guys cheers. in the beer video.